Welcome back to the Sports Source. This segment brought to you by Safety Systems. When it comes to home security, office security, VFL JJ Serlis and the team at Safety Systems can take care of you. Uh, they do a great job. There's a reason that when you go into a business anywhere in East Tennessee, you're going to find that little sticker in the window. Looks like that right on your screen right there. Black, orange, white, safety systems. Uh, you'll see it at drive throughs when you go through a fast food. You'll see them on signs in front of homes in subdivisions, including my home. Safety systems. I promise you they'll take good care of you. Best deal, best contract you're ever going to get. So ignore the flyer that you get in your mailbox from some national company. Go local. Safety systems. Okay. Uh, yesterday, Daniel sent me a text, which I thought was really good. Uh, it wasn't really a question. He was just kind of giving me, wanted to get my opinion on something. As I mentioned, Nico, who's coming to Tennessee, moved ahead of Arch, who's going to Texas, in on three, that's the latest. Uh, the people who started 24-7 uh, and Rivals have now moved on to start on three. So they have their new composite rankings, and they just moved Iamaliava over Manning as the number one prospect in the country. So those are the top two prospects, top two quarterbacks. Daniel was like, who do you think got the better quarterback coach that's going to be working with them? Steve Sarkeesian at Texas with Arch Manning or Josh Heupel with Nico at Tennessee? That's a great question because there's a couple of different ways to look at that. And I'm going to ask you, who got the better deal of this with the quarterback situation? Because you can look at it and say, well, there's quarterback preparedness, getting you ready for the NFL. There's also winning games and milking these guys for big numbers. Those aren't the same thing. Who got the better quarterback, Coach? I'm going to sit back and Four. listen to this one. Josh. <laughs> I'm going to start with Josh. Well, Not you. You yeah, started last time. I'm going to say for the quarterback, I think Nico got the better deal because I think, uh, one, he fits in with the system of what his skill set is, his mobility, his arm, how he's able to throw the football. Uh, I'm also not convinced Steve Sarkeesian is going to be his coach, uh, to, uh, Arch Manning's coach at Texas for three to four years. I'm not mm -hmm. sure that that's going to work out at Texas. I have more confidence in Josh Heupel working out. The pro track record, though, if you look to development past the college level, Steve Sarkeesian's track record is better. Okay, now you've cavalierist this. You've given it to <laughs> no, no, no. I said, I, okay. no I, said, Nico, the... I think Nico got the better deal uh, okay. in terms of the quarterback coach he's getting in college. I don't know that Steve Sarkeesian is going to be the coach. I'm not confident that he will be the coach coaching Arch Manning. Okay. Just for the rest, of, let's take that part out of it. Let's just say, let's say Sarkeesian's going to be there for all four years, let's say, or all three years for Arch Manning, and Heifel's going to be here for all three years with Iamaliava. Vince, now go. I think it's tough. I will give Heupel the slight edge, I think, most recently, because there, even at UCF and with Hendon Hooker, it's, yes, it's part of the system, but it is about college football, not necessarily about the pros. And so that's, I think, when you're looking at evaluating and comparing the two. Sarkeesian has the Heisman Trophy winners. He has more NFL guys. And he has adapted his system, but I think – uh, Josh Heupel has gotten more out of the college players and maybe less talented guys on paper. You have a lot of talent to work with. I think that's promising. Okay. I agree with, for college, the numbers, that mm -hmm. it's a better position for Josh Heupel for Nico because of the history of what Josh Heupel's done with a multitude of quarterbacks. To me, what tips the edge in terms of long-term for the quarterback is yeah. Steve Sarkeesian's experience in the NFL, not mm -hmm. just developing guys for the NFL, but – coaching in the NFL. And I think if that's long-term, which I think Arch Manning, based on his family history, is probably most concerned with, is trying to be prepared for the NFL. Mm -hmm. And that, to me, Sark's experience in the NFL would be what, why I give him the edge. Okay. And, my, and that's what I was struggling with, is that you look at Sark's record, he's got six first-round picks at quarterback. Mm -hmm. He's yeah. had nine overall that have been taken, some big names that everyone knows. But, it's, but my flip side of it was, Heupel's done more with less. And when he had Sam Bradford at Oklahoma, you know, you kind of have that story go as it did. And I almost thought was, well, is Tennessee quarterbacks going to get hurt because of how bad Sam Bradford failed? Mm -hmm. And that's where I, I was well, torn. I mean, you look at uh, – I, I, would, I would say that, go back to Drew Locke. Yeah. He credited Derek Dooley, who replaced Josh Heupel, as getting him more prepared for the NFL than Heupel did. So – if you're looking at it from a fan's perspective, I don't care about your pro career. <laughs> I mean, that's great. That may help recruiting at some point. Mm -hmm. But I want the guy who can get the most out of the college player while he's in college. Right. If I'm the quarterback and I'm his family, I may be wanting the guy who can get me more pro-ready. And I would think that would be Sarkeesian. But that goes into another, 
another angle of this that I want to bring up. We'll, we'll continue this segment uh, in the next segment uh, because I want to ask, is there a difference between being a great quarterback coach and just running a great offense? Just running a great <laughs> offense. Uh, I think there is, and I've got a historical comparison to throw at you next. We'll discuss Heupel and quarterback coach next. Come on back on the Sports Source.